old codgers like myself who are older than time and were around when T-Rex was popping down to to get a bit of bacon from Tesco's will often go on about things like rock stars boycotting events or so on. I mean, I have a reason for mentioning this, which will become apparent in a minute. I can recall rock stars not wanting to play in South Africa. Um, communist rock stars are as common as you can be with a rock star. I might just about credit Billy Bragg as being left wing and a few others, but in any case, I'm going to share a news article. Let's open that. This is a music festival in Austin, Texas. It's held every year. Why are you asking? Am I showing you this? Mainly because a load of Irish artists have decided to boycott it due to issues about funding of it by the US military. It is going to be detrimental by that term. They've managed to seek serious funding for music showcasing. Irish artists who have boycotted a major US first music festival have had to make a huge decision, the chief executive for OES Center said. They're also not going to exactly go down well with Americans, I imagine, who tend to have a particular view on these things. And I don't suppose that really concerns them, as the acts um, under question, which we'll come to in a minute, are acts that would tend to vote against Israel's role in Gaza and would t are quite left-wing by nature. All the artists scheduled to play an official for you music from Ireland event at South by Southwest in Texas have now pulled out. It is in protest over the arts festival sponsorship by the US Army. The arts are critical of the army's support for Israel in the Gaza war. The festival, which runs until 16th of March in the city of Austin, Texas, Austin, before someone tells me off for mispronouncing it, celebrates film, comedy and music and attracts more than 300,000 people each year. So while it's not Woodstock level, it's not tiny either. It will have been a huge decision for the artist Charlotte Dryden from Oh Yeah told BBC's Good Morning Elstra programme. Probably once they were made aware of the festival sponsorship, their consequences and their ethics overtook her any financial reasons. She understands more than 60 UK acts have now pulled out of the festival. Um, I suppose some of these acts are probably from Northern Ireland as well, so we're probably talking about acts that could be described as British and Irish. Let's see who, who has boycott of them. I know Legay. I know Kneecap has. Anybody else? And I know um, quite a few other people have. Be nice if someone will put a list there, but I imagine it's going to lend itself to the back and forth argument between Israel at the back of minute, where Ireland is insisting, um, can we please have a ceasefire over there in Israel? And Israel is going no, and they seem to be having diplomatic fallout every two minutes. I'm going to see if I can do a follow up on this. Um, probably after the next few days as I'm exceedingly busy with, let's just say, typing loads of stuff up, which is giving me a, a, um, a rat bloody edict, so <laughs> to put it mildly, um, and see if I can find a list of the people because I'm fascinated to see how many acts have pulled out there. <laughs> 